it looks like the MCU is really setting us up for something big with Scarlet Witch, making us all super excited for her return. But of course, Marvel's making us go through a bit of a journey first. Luckily, this ride is going to be pretty fun. There's been a lot of talk about a Scarlet Witch solo movie. And if the rumors from Jack Schaefer and Meghan McDonald are true, you know, the writers behind WandaVision and Agatha all along, then they're working on Wanda Maximoff's solo film right now. So we're just waiting for an official confirmation at this point. But here's the cool part. Marvel has already started giving us hints. Recently, Daniel RPK dropped some inside scoop that something big is happening over at Marvel Studios. And yep, it's all about Scarlet Witch. Apparently, Marvel is also prepping a follow-up to Agatha all along, which is currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. The best part? According to Daniel, this follow-up could be where they introduce Tommy Kemp, Wanda's son, and Billy's twin brother. This is pretty much our roadmap for how Scarlet Witch is going to come back into the MCU. And it looks like another big piece of that puzzle is going to be Doctor Strange 3, which we'll definitely get into later. I know you guys are just as excited as I am about all these details, especially about Wanda's return. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates, especially when it comes to Scarlet Witch. Now, let's dive in and break it all down. All right, let's dive deeper into this Agatha All Along spinoff news. I have to admit, it's got me feeling a little mixed. Daniel RPK recently hinted that the follow-up project from Agatha All Along is going to focus on the search for Tommy. Now, I'm all for more content, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it feels like we're still knee-deep in the mysteries surrounding Agatha all along, especially when it comes to the character of Teen. It's like this new project could accidentally spoil some of that fun mystery we've been enjoying. Think about it. If the next series revolves around Tommy, aka Speed, it kind of confirms that Billy already exists within Agatha all along. And if that's the case, doesn't it also lessen the intrigue surrounding Nicholas Scratch? I mean, there's been so much buzz and speculation about who Teen could be, and a lot of that tension could just fizzle out if this new series spells it out too soon. Then there's the Funko Pop leaks. And let's be real, those leaks pretty much gave away some major spoilers already. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the images circulating online. I'm not going to get into the details, but let's just say they've dropped some heavy hints about what's coming next. Still, I'm trying to stay optimistic. Maybe Agatha all along will still hit us with some big surprises in the final episode. Marvel is usually great at keeping us on our toes, so I'm holding out hope for some unexpected twists. And as for the follow-up project, I really hope it stands on its own and keeps that unique vibe we've come to expect from the Marvel shows on Disney+. Plus. Now, what's interesting is how both of these Disney Plus projects, the one with Billy and the one with Tommy, are directly connected to their mom, Wanda Maximoff aka the Scarlet Witch. It's like they're slowly laying the groundwork for this family's bigger role in the MCU. It's not just about individual characters anymore, it's about the entire Maximoff legacy. Speaking of which, I've also heard rumors that this follow-up project could actually be Vision Quest, which for those who don't know, has already been confirmed. But here's the thing, I don't think that's the case. Vision Quest will obviously focus on Vision and his storyline. And while all of these shows will likely tie together in some way, I feel like the one focusing on Tommy is going to be its own separate thing. It has to be, right? Otherwise, it'd just feel like one massive Vision-centric project, and I don't think that's what Marvel's aiming for. Now, here's something funny to think about. What is it about the Maximoff family that makes them so special in the MCU? I mean, seriously, we've got Wanda, Billy, Tommy, and even Vision all getting major screen time or their own projects. It's like the entire family tree is getting its moment in the spotlight. And hey, I'm not complaining. I love every bit of it. But it does make you wonder, are we heading into an era where the Maximoff family becomes the center of the MCU? Think about it. There are already rumors swirling that Billy and Tommy are going to be part of the Young Avengers. And let's not forget about Scarlet Witch herself, She's rumored to play a big role in some of the upcoming Marvel blockbusters, like Avengers Secret Wars, or even Avengers Doomsday. And it's highly likely that Wanda Maximoff is going to pop back up in Doctor Strange 3 as well. That connection was already set up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, so it wouldn't be a stretch to see her returning for more chaos magic in the next Doctor Strange movie. And honestly, I'm all for it. 
Wanda's arc in the MCU has been incredible so far, and the idea of seeing her play a bigger role in these future projects is really exciting. But what do you guys think? Are you as pumped as I am to see more of Scarlet Witch in the MCU? Do you think she'll come back stronger than ever? Or are we in for some more surprises along the way? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's talk about what's next for Wanda Maximoff and the entire Maximoff family. All right, let's talk about Doctor Strange 3 because I think this is one of the most exciting updates in the MCU right now. Recently, there's been a lot of buzz about Sam Raimi potentially returning to direct the next Doctor Strange film. This rumor came from Jeff Snyder over at The In Snyder. And honestly, it's pretty colorful news. If you are a fan of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, this is probably a dream come true. Sam Raimi brought a unique flair to the MCU, and some people really loved his horror-tinged take on the multiverse. But for those who didn't vibe with the way Multiverse of Madness ended, particularly the way things turned out for Scarlet Witch, this might be more of a frustrating update. Personally, I really enjoyed Multiverse of Madness. It was fresh, a little wild, and overall a fun ride for me, so I'm definitely one of those people who would be excited to see Raimi return for the third installment. But how about you guys? What do you think? Were you happy with Raimi's direction, or are you hoping for a different take this time around? Now, let's talk predictions for Doctor Strange 3, because I have a lot of thoughts on where things might go. But before we get into specifics, we need to take a look at the bigger picture. Doctor Strange 3 is going to hit theaters during a really interesting time in the MCU, right in the midst of a bunch of other projects, most notably Avengers Doomsday. In my opinion, Doctor Strange 3 is going to set the stage for Avengers Doomsday in the same way that Doctor Strange helped build up to Infinity War. Remember that iconic scene where Doctor Strange looks into the future and sees all those possible outcomes? He saw over 14 million different futures, and in only one of them could the Avengers defeat Thanos. How many did you see? 14 million, 605. How many did you win? That tension, that buildup, it was genius. It had everyone on the edge of their seat, knowing the Avengers were going to lose in Infinity War, but still clinging to that hope that there was one way to win in the end. So what if Marvel is planning to do something similar with Avengers Doomsday? It seems totally possible to me. And if they do, Doctor Strange 3 is going to be a major piece of that puzzle, leading us right into the thick of the multiverse saga. Raimi could play a huge role in making that happen, and I'm all for continuity when it comes to directors, characters, and storylines. It's part of what makes the MCU so successful. The way everything feels connected. When Marvel messes with that continuity, things tend to feel a little off. Continuity is why I'm convinced that Doctor Strange 3 will be an essential part of the multiverse saga, alongside the two upcoming Avengers movies. Through this film, Marvel has the opportunity to bring in some heavy hitters like Doctor Doom, and of course, Scarlet Witch could play a big role too. Even with its tribulations. Now, let's not forget how Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness ended. In the post credit scene, we see Strange running into Clea, who tells him that he's caused an incursion and needs to come with her to fix it. Naturally, he follows her, setting up what's bound to be a major storyline in the next movie. One thing I've noticed about both Doctor Strange movies is that they've had this underlying romantic drama centered around Christine Palmer. She's been this tragic figure in Strange's life, his greatest regret. But with Christine's marriage and Multiverse of Madness, it feels like that chapter is closed now, and it's not really a big deal for Strange anymore. That being said, romance isn't totally off the table. In the comics, Doctor Strange and Clea end up getting married, so there's a real chance the MCU could head in that direction. But let's be honest, romance has never been the main focus of the MCU, and I don't think Doctor Strange 3 will make it the center of the story either. What we do know is that Doctor Strange 3 is likely going to be the last major film before Avengers Doomsday. There are some conflicting reports though. Some are saying that Shang-Chi 2 could actually come out before Doomsday, with Doctor Strange 3 following afterward. If that's the case, it does complicate things a bit. But one thing's for sure, we're going to need to see what happens between Doctor Strange and Clea before Avengers Doomsday. It would be weird if Clea just showed up out of nowhere in Doomsday without any explanation. So, as I touched on earlier, it looks like Avengers Doomsday and Doctor Strange 3 won't necessarily be about stopping the end of the world. Honestly, 
I see these films playing a role similar to Infinity War. They'll be more of a bridge, leading us into something even more spectacular. Why do I think this? Well, let's take a look at Phase 4 and Phase 5 of the MCU. Marvel Studios has clearly felt the impact of a lack of connectivity between their films, series, and characters. And this isn't just my opinion, it's something fans have been pointing out for a while now. We all know that Marvel needs to course correct, and they're definitely capable of doing it. They've done it before, back when Infinity War led into the massive success of Avengers Endgame. They know how to build up to those epic, universe-altering moments. But here's the thing, so far, a lot of the films and series in this phase haven't really developed that connectivity. Many of them haven't even touched on the multiverse. That's a problem when you're trying to build excitement for Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. It's hard to get hyped about the multiverse when half the projects don't seem to care about it. That being said, we're starting to hear some promising updates. There's been a leak about Captain America Brave New World that suggests its post-credit scene will tie directly into the multiverse saga. And according to Daniel RPK, Marvel Studios is now actively working to make all of their films and series more interconnected. This might be why we've been hearing about reshoots on some upcoming projects. Marvel's trying to tighten everything up and create that shared universe feeling we all love. Given all that, I think Doctor Strange 3 is poised to be the most connected film in the multiverse saga. I'm really hoping it will tie into Loki Season 2 as well. Those two projects seem like they have the potential to build some seriously important bridges within the MCU. But what I'm most excited about is seeing how Doctor Strange 3 could give Scarlet Witch the chance to fully explore her power and potential in the MCU. So far, I don't think we've seen her at her true comic level strength. In the comics, Wanda is an absolute powerhouse, and I'd love to see that version of her make its way to the big screen. What about you? What are you hoping for from Doctor Strange 3? Let me know in the comments! As for the Agatha All Along spinoff that's supposed to focus on Tommy Search, we don't have a ton of details yet. There's no word on the release date or where they are in production. But don't worry, I'll keep you updated as soon as we hear more. In the meantime, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any updates when that series drops. If you're looking for more awesome info about the MCU, especially Scarlet Witch and Agatha All Along, you're in luck. I've got a few videos lined up for you on the end screen. Go ahead and click one, and let's keep this conversation going over there. Thanks for watching this far. You're seriously the best part of the Cinemamu community. I'll see you in the next video.